We're in South Jefferson County uh, where uh, some citizens burned some trash. That got out into some grass, very dry grass. So we brought a, a lot of dozers in and we had people stay here all night. It's probably four to 500 acres here, uh, but it jumped. Same thing, wind uh, taking uh, embers from the stump. Lots of old stumps out behind us here and they're all still burning and they will burn until we have significant rain. We're gonna have people here for all day today, tonight, tomorrow, watching and making sure we don't have uh, ember jump. It's, uh, we've got a lot of good friends. We have uh, forestry division staff that are well trained and are ready to go. We've got good equipment. We have partners in rural fire departments. There was a house north of, of us right here, the Highway 15 Rural Fire Department here, Volunteer Fire Department saved that house. So without those partners, we can't do our job at the Forestry Division. We need all sorts of partners, but all citizens need to be our partner right now, refrain, refrain from burning. Yeah, we're, we're uh, very dry all over the state right now. Low humidity's everywhere. This high wind is just makes for large, large fire hazard. And generally speaking, the citizens have done a great job of being aware and not burning. And there's burn bans on in 66 of the counties. I haven't checked lately. I bet there's more than that now today. So we, uh, we implore all not to burn anything outdoors at all, not even a barbecue grill with this kind of wind. It's just plain too dangerous. So bush hogging, hitting rocks with a bush hog right now can start a fire in dry grass. Having a hot muffler, you come off a hour's drive somewhere and park your car in dry grass, that can start a fire. Flicking a cigarette out of a window right now on any road of any sort is a big no-no. We had a big grass fire over the weekend and that's probably what happened in Jackson County. And that was a 1,200 acre fire. Lack of rain, low humidity, high winds means bad, bad fire danger. We haven't seen dry times like this in, in about 11 or 12 years. We've now burned over 30,000 acres in Arkansas this year. Uh, that's the most since 2011.